Insulin Analogues Introduction Insulin is used as the choice of drug in treatment of type 1 diabetes mellitus, gestational diabetes mellitus, diabetic ketoacidosis, and in type 2 diabetes mellitus in later stages. It is also used in treatment of hyperkalemia as it potentiates influx of potassium into the cell along with glucose uptake. Based on the duration of action, they are ultra-short acting, short acting, long acting, and ultra long acting. Changes in amino acid sequence of human insulin reflects on changes in the onset and duration of the insulin preparations. They are useful in synthesis of ultra short and long acting insulin. Postprandial hyperglycemia is limited by short and ultra short acting insulin, whereas long and ultra long insulin are used for maintenance of glucose levels. Duration of action of various insulin preparations depend on the dose, injection site, blood supply at the injection site, body temperature, and physical activity. Short acting and rapid acting insulin preparations, regular insulin, insulin Lispro, insulin as part, and insulin glulosine. Regular insulin, insulin Lispro, and insulin aspart are pregnancy category B, and insulin glulosine is pregnancy category C. Regular insulin. It is a short-acting, soluble, crystalline zinc insulin with peak onset of action at 60 minutes. Regular insulin is usually given subcutaneously, but can be given as intramuscular or intravenous in cases of emergencies. It rapidly lowers blood glucose and hence has increased risk of hypoglycemia. The duration of action is dependent on the dose but usually persists for 6 hours. Insulin Lispro, Insulin Aspart, and Insulin Glulosine. They have rapid onset within 20 minutes and short duration of action, which is 4 hours. They are classified as rapid-acting or ultra-short-acting insulin. Because of these properties, they offer more flexibility in the treatment and are administered to mimic the prandial or mealtime release of insulin. They are usually given in combination with a longer-acting insulin for prompt achievement of glucose levels and decrease hypoglycemia. They can be given subcutaneously or intravenous administration and insulin as part can also be given intravenously for treatment of diabetic ketoacidosis. Peak levels of insulin Lispro are seen at 30 to 90 minutes after injection, as compared with 50 to 120 minutes for regular insulin. They are usually given either immediately following a meal or within 15 to 20 minutes prior to a meal. Intermediate acting or long acting insulin. Neutral protamine, H-Dorn, NPH, Insulin is a crystalline suspension made up of zinc and a polypeptide protamine at a neutral pH. Its duration of action is intermediate, effect lasting for about 16 hours. Delayed absorption due to less soluble complex with protamine. It is used for basal control of maintenance of blood glucose. It should be administered subcutaneously only. No intravenous administration is given. It treats all forms of diabetes except diabetic ketoacidosis and emergency hyperglycemia. Ultra-long-acting insulin preparations. These are insulin glargine, insulin detimir, and insulin degludec, longest-acting insulin. Insulin glargine. The isoelectric pH of insulin glargine, acidic pH, is lesser than the human body. Hence, upon administration, it forms precipitation at the injection site, hence slow release of insulin and increase in the duration of action. It maintains a flat, prolonged hypoglycemic effect with no peak in between. Glargine being at acidic pH should not be mixed with other insulin which have neutral pH. Insulin, Detimir. It has a fatty acid side chain, hence having high binding to albumin at the injection site. 
This causes slow dissociation of drug, resulting in long action. The graph below compares the extent and duration of action of various types of insulin, as indicated by glucose infusion rates, required to maintain a constant glucose concentration. Insulin mixtures. Some premixed combinations of human insulins are 70% NPH, which is neutral protamine H-dorn insulin, with 30% regular insulin, were earlier used and now are replaced with combination of NPL, which is neutral protamine Lispro and insulin Lispro. Humalog mix 75 by 25, Humalog mix 50 by 50, and 70% insulin aspart protamine by 30% insulin aspart. Novolog mix 70 by 30. They are advantageous to the previous combination as they have rapid onset of glucose lowering capacity, can be given within 15 minutes before or after start of a meal, and are superior in controlling the postprandial glucose elevation after a carbohydrate rich meal. Treatment variations. Standard insulin treatment or regular treatment of diabetes mellitus is given to patients on daily basis and it involves injections of insulin twice a day. In patients requiring rigorous or intensive care admitted patients, diabetic ketoacidosis, patients requiring steroids for inflammation or shock, require three or more injections to maintain the blood glucose levels. The mean standard levels of blood glucose to be maintained in diabetics are less than or equal to 154 mg per deciliter, with an HbA1c less than or equal to 7%, according to American Diabetes Association. Continuous subcutaneous insulin infusion is being practiced in these settings to decrease use of multiple daily injections with the help of a variety of insulin preparation through an insulin pump. Due to the differences in the amino acid sequences of the polypeptides, various insulin preparations vary greatly in onset of action and duration of action. Intensive treatment regimes are recommended in lowering of long-term complications of diabetes, such as ocular retinopathy and neuropathy. Nephropathy has not shown significant improvement in long-standing diabetes with significant microvascular and macrovascular complications, advanced age, and those with hypoglycemic unawareness.